don't be a lukewarm Christian. Let me say something, and I pray that it makes sense. In my past, at least part of my past, I used to be a really bad guy, somewhat. And I would hurt people emotionally. Okay. Now I am a true Christian. Okay. As it seems, I have been receiving more of what I have put out back then so now i get emotionally hurt as well a person can say well perhaps you are reaping what you have sown and that is a very good answer it is a possibility so as a true christian I can't seek out for revenge because that is wrong. So let me ask you this. Is it right for me to stay mad at those people? No. Is it right for me to be bitter against those people? No. Is it right for me to hold unforgiveness against those people? No. Before I told you, <laughs> I would hurt people emotionally. So how can I get mad? I mean, how can I stay mad at some people who are doing to me what I used to do to other people. So I hurt people in my past. How can I get mad at the people who hurt me? How can I have hatred or be bitter against the people who hurt me? How can I see your sins against me or weigh your sins against me but not weigh my sins against other people as heavily? So I can see your sins, for an example, I can see your sins against me so clearly, but in so many words, I choose to hide my eyes or close my eyes against the sins I have done to other people. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? A person can say, well, I did those sins against those people because they were so mean to me so if they were not mean to me or if they did not do evil to me i would have not done evil to them so now as it seems you are justifying your sins so making it seem in so many words you are trying to make it seem like the wrong that you did is okay. I believe this is true for some people. So in so many words, you are not taking responsibility for the wrong that you have done. I believe this is true for some people. If you do anything wrong, you can't blame it on anyone. 
bad things have happened to me and I sought out for revenge. Some of the time I sought out for revenge. But if I do evil to a person, I can't push the responsibility on another person. No, I have to take it. I have to be responsible for my own actions. I can't just shift the blame to other people. Chances are, some people want mercy when they do bad things to others. I believe that. But how crazy is it to not show others mercy when they do wrong to you? Kevin, it is not about what I do to other people. It is about what others do to me. <laughs> do you know how wicked that sounds? Do you know how evil that is? It is not about what you do to others, but it is about what others do to you. So in so many words, other people's sins against you weigh more heavily than what you do to other people. That is so bad. I pray that all of this makes sense. If you have done wrong to people, you should be more understanding and more compassionate to others when they do wrong to you. So what is the sense in holding bitterness? What is the sense of not forgiving those people? What is the sense? Have you done everything right in life? <laughs> I don't think so. So if that is the case, you have to forgive. Because if you don't, and if you believe that you are justified to not forgive a person, look at your sins. You may say that you are justified to be a certain way and to do certain things. And if you say that, something is wrong with you. Something is wrong with you. And this may be a reason why bad things continue to happen to you. So let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you tell someone that you love them. God bless you.